back to my channel and if you're new here hey girlies um bald you're probably like oh my god like how did you fit all your hair in there why is it laying so flat girl i ain't got no hair under here i will probably post that video after this one but i cut all my hair off again actually i didn't cut it all myself i actually went to a salon and i showed her this <laughs> I showed her this picture. I was like, girl, you gotta give me the Rihanna. I'm trying to grow my hair out, but I don't want to be bald this time. And like, wigs are just not my thing. She itches. The scalp gets very, very dry. And she's like, don't worry, I got you. I've been cutting men's hair forever. And I'm like, <laughs> I have a lot of experience and I should be able to work my magic on you. She was a baddie. Like, I don't know if she's gonna watch this video somehow. This woman was a baddie. Like, she was that girl, that woman. So I just really trusted her. Um, and <laughs> it's not giving Rihanna. All I have to say is when they take a ton of photos of you and they post all their other clients, but they don't post you, that's how they know they fucked up. So we're gonna be wearing this wig today. This was made by, this wig was made by Mac Wigs at Lisa Mac. Um, I found her on Instagram. I reached out to my girlies and I was like, y'all, I need a wig. She's battered, she's torn. So she will be making an appearance later on in the video. I don't like to do my makeup with my wig on because if you can tell, like I've gotten foundation on the wig. <laughs> so I don't wanna make that even worse. She's gonna lay right here on my Hello Kitty pillow until she's needed. Today's video is going to be a get ready with me, hopefully, right? I hope I don't. <laughs> Like, girl, don't go out looking like that. So today's gonna be a get ready with me Sasha story time that I tried to film this video like a month and a half ago and consecutively every other week I kept trying to film it. Just something kept going wrong. Like the first time the audio got fucked up. The second time my friends said I shared way too many details so told me to film it again. Filmed it a third time and the audio got fucked up again. So here we are again for the fourth time trying to share this story. Maybe that's the universe telling me that this man is gonna try to sue me. <laughs> so for the sake of defamation, <laughs> Everything I'm about to tell you is a lie. Totally came up with all this in my head, okay, sweetie? So today we're gonna do a very light beat. I have absolutely no plans and nothing to do per usual, but I like to do my makeup and get ready in the morning because it just genuinely makes me feel better. So why not chat with the girlies, show off my new growth? So this story takes, oh, by the way, like when I do my get ready with me, so if you're new to my channel, I don't sit here like, here's each product. Like girl, I'm not a beauty guru. You guys are here getting ready with me. I hope you're not learning from me. I actually had somebody tell me, oh my God, Vanessa, I wanna be a makeup artist because you taught me how to do makeup and I never felt more lied to in my life. Like it made me feel so good, but at the same time I was like, damn, y'all really out here lying. <laughs> okay, let's get into this makeup. Also, you're gonna notice me like fidgeting with my eye a lot. I don't know what happened, but like I ripped off my false lash and I tried to rip off the glue afterwards, but I actually ripped the skin off my eye. You're probably wondering how the fuck does that happen, Vanessa? But like I literally ripped all the skin on my lash line so we're probably not gonna do lashes today so this story takes place all the way back in 2018 so this was quite a while ago that's why i feel comfortable sharing i'm not really in connection with any of these people so if anybody decides to pop up then i i don't know what to tell you i'm also on the vibe of like if you've done me like severely wrong in the past yeah i can move and grow past it but like if i want to share my story my experience i'm gonna share it and you shouldn't have done me wrong. <laughs> so this was around the era when <laughs> I have many, many questionable eras. This was my European era when I thought that I could fly overseas and find a man. <laughs> I thought I could fly overseas and bag me a fish. <laughs> I just ended a very roller coaster relationship with somebody from overseas and a bitch was feeling lonely, a bitch was feeling desperate. She wanted some attention and like fucking Cassie from Euphoria, I took the attention from where I shouldn't have. Ladies and gentlemen, I've said this in several videos, not all attention is good attention and you know what, sometimes we find ourselves in positions and you know, we bite the bait. This was one of those moments when I bit the bait. Um, somebody that I dated previously before my European era, um, this man used, cheated, lied, the whole... I don't even know why I'm smiling, bitch, it was a mess. He really thought he was the shit in LA and I thought I was the shit under his arm even though I was paying for all his Ubers, paying for all his Uber Eats, paying for all his clothes, paying 
his mom man did me wrong he found a whole model from miami had her fly out dumped me the day before she showed up for whatever fucking reason being the dumb bitch i was after that situation went away i decided to try again and i flew out to go and meet all his family and stuff and he ended up leaving me in a hotel room the entire time so it was very full circle so your girl moved on she moved past it and of course like i said i bit the bait and my dumb ass ended up in you know this person's life again we were talking 24 7 like from waking up to going to sleep like calling up facetime 24 7. i knew this person was on the other side of the country but they did tell me that they were always in la and at the time i was flying in and out of la literally like every month every couple weeks because i was working on music um this was like around like the meditate time so you know we figured that whenever we were in la at the same time we would link up or so i thought because here i go you know flying out to la letting them know i'm gonna be out there so if at any point like you're gonna be there too i'm gonna be there for maybe a week and they made it seem like they were constantly like in and out of the city type thing so which i don't know where the fuck they got all this money from because like i said like the situation that i knew them in was not you know an ideal one but all of a sudden they were acting like you know they're up like they're successful they got their mental health together they got their everything together so that's why i also entertained it like not only because a bit of a lonely but because you know they spoke up a lot but you have to remember that like people can talk a lot they can really talk big of themselves but if they don't show you then I kind of spilled to my friend that I let this person in my life again and I've been talking to them and of course they're like girl you better be careful like you already know what happened last time and me being you know me at the time I was like oh I know what I'm doing and I'm like, girl you did not know what you were doing you were what 21 or 22 I did not know what I was doing I really thought I knew everything at that age so as I'm telling them about this person they're looking up their social media of course like you know let me see what my bitch is talking to basically and they're like oh my god they're in LA are you guys like meeting up soon and I was like I did not know they were in LA what are you talking about and they showed me a story and it was a very obvious landmark from Hollywood so I was like oh my god like why didn't he tell me that he was going to be in LA like I've been telling him for the last you know couple of weeks that I was going to be out here so my friend was like you should try to like reach out and see if you guys can hang out I have some stuff to do today anyway so you guys should try to link or something so I was like okay let's do that I hit them up and immediately they're like oh I meant to tell you that I was going to be in LA like I don't know why I didn't tell you like it just slipped my mind I was going to but we've been talking like 24 7 so like you're calling me at 7 a.m 12 p.m 3 p.m 8 p.m like where did it slip your mind i was like why wouldn't you tell me and he was like oh you know like it was just slip of the mind so me being trusting for whatever reason i'm like okay maybe he's you know telling the truth and he just forgot to tell me so i just let it go and i'm like hey do you want to hang out and then here comes all the bullshit excuses oh i don't think i can hang out today like I don't want the person I'm staying with to think that I'm using them for a place to stay. Like, you know, I've been here for a couple days and I've been out and about. So in my head, I'm like, oh, okay, that makes sense. Like, you don't want your friend to feel like you're only there for a place to stay. I mean, me personally, if I were to ever stay at like Steven's apartment and I had plans to go hang out with, you know, someone else, he wouldn't even question it. He wouldn't feel weird about it because I used to always stay at Steven's house. But I mean, everybody's different, I guess. So this kept happening for a couple of days. Like it was just a constant excuse of like, I can't get out. Like I don't want this person to feel some sort of way, but I'm only gonna be here for a week. We have, you know, been talking and you're telling me that you wanna be my man again. And you're telling me that I'm not just saying all this stuff, spitting games. So I'm thinking like this person would want to, you know, try to see me, but they were making it very obvious that they were avoiding me in a way. That's how I felt, so. Like you're saying all this stuff over the phone but like now we're literally only like 30 minutes away from each other so why wouldn't you want to hang out with me so just constant constant excuses so fast forward i'm hanging out with that same friend again in the hotel room and he's like oh like i have an idea you should film this video with them and so i reach out to them and conveniently even though they couldn't hang out any other time convenient like oh yeah i could pop up right now i'll be there in 30 minutes I'm like oh okay now you're ready to just show up because you're gonna probably benefit from this somehow and in that moment, like, I should have just walked away completely, but me being me. After we filmed the video, my friend ends up leaving to go do whatever they were doing at the time. And he asked me, like, oh, do you want to go and get some food in Glendale? So we went to the Galleria, um, kind of, like, area, went and got some Shaolong Bao from, is it called Din Tai Fung? It's like a soup dumpling thing. Oh my god, it's so good. That's my favorite food. I'm not going to turn down my favorite food. But the whole time, I'm just embarrassed, and I'm like, oh my god, why am I here? Why am I doing this? Like, no, 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 no. And he kept trying to be flirty and trying to hold my hand and shit. And I just, like, 
I don't know, I just felt some sort of way. After he leaves, one of my girlfriends came over and we were just, you know, talking or whatever. And I kind of mentioned to her that, you know, I was talking to him again a little bit. She already knew who he was and this was like a newer friend. So this was a newer relationship. So I kind of told her a little bit about it, but I didn't tell her too much. So what happened next was very, very confusing to me. And this girl literally is an FBI agent, a CIA, like not actually, she's not hired by them. But if she applied, I wouldn't be surprised if she did. Because I don't know how the fuck she like somehow put this all together. While we're hanging out, she's just glued to her phone the entire time. And I'm like, this bitch is up to something. Like, I just know she's up to something. Because every time she's glued to her phone like this, she's going to have to show me something or like something's going to pop off. And it's LA, so something is always constantly popping off. Obviously not the entire LA county is like wild in, but like the community of people I was in. Um, yeah, something was always popping off. So after her being glued to her phone for like an hour and a half, she's like, I have somebody that I want you to meet. I have something I want to show you, something I want to tell you, but I can't tell you yet until you meet them. And I'm just like, what are you on? Like, this is suspicious. And I kept asking her a million times and she would just keep saying like, no, like you just have to wait till you meet the person. I'm like, bitch, this better be motherfucking Justin Bieber. Okay, like says a better pull up. Because you are acting like this is the most mysterious, like, like who are you about to, oh my God, the eyeliner ain't even sticking. The skin is... The skin is rotting on my eye right now. But we're still gonna go ahead and try to put some on anyways. Oh my god. Probably shouldn't be doing this, but you know what? Um, I need it. So the whole time that like I'm hanging out with her, I'm also texting him and I'm like, I don't know why, but like she's being really sus right now. She's telling me that she has something to show me. And immediately like his tone changes and he's like, what do you mean she has something to show you? Like she has something, like what are you talking about? And I'm like, whoa, chill. Like why are you getting all like freaked out now? Like, this, this ain't even really your friend, <laughs> like why are you concerned? He tried to play it off, but he made it very obvious that he was concerned about something. So now I'm like, bitch, what's going on? Like, is my friend about to like introduce me to his like real girlfriend or something? Like, you know, I'm thinking about everything but what happened. We're just chilling for like an hour upstairs and eventually she tells me, okay, we need to go downstairs. There's somebody that I want to introduce you to. And bitch, I'm excited. I'm like, oh my God. Like I'm literally like nervous sweating. Like, oh my God, like am I going to meet like like, who is this? Am I gonna get jumped? Like, I don't know. Waiting for us outside of the hotel lobby is this older man. And not like older, older as in like 80, 90. I'm talking about maybe like late 30s, early 40s. He's in a big poncho. He's like super wrapped up, big ass hat. I'm like, who is this man? Like, where did, who is this man? She's just telling me like, just play it cool. Like, just be nice to him. Like, I'll let you know everything afterwards. I'm like, what the fuck am I getting into? Like, and she wants to bring him into my hotel room. Like, who is this man? He's like, you guys want to smoke? Like, we can go outside and roll up and just walk around. I'm like, who is this man? But I kind of like you already because you got what I like. We go outside and we're just walking around the hotel, walking around, you know, like the Burbank, Glendale area and just talking or whatever. Like, he was a really, really nice guy. So I didn't have any, you know, red flags or anything but at the same time i was like who is this guy you know i'm just making small talk telling him like a little bit of who i am he's telling me that he's like an entrepreneur and like tech and stuff and he sold his company and he just kind of chills every day because he sold his company and he's sitting on cash so i'm like oh good for you he only stayed for maybe like 35 40 minutes like literally came to smoke and then left and i was like okay what the fuck was that? Keep in mind, before the guy showed up, I smoked. When the guy showed up, I smoked. When he left, I smoked. So I'm literally just fried out of my mind. Like, what the hell is going on? I've been in so many random situations, so I don't even get scared anymore. I'm just kind of like going with the flow of things. And my friend proceeds to tell me that that guy is the one who, the person that I was talking to, my boyfriend, quote unquote, trying to be my boyfriend. He was telling me like, leave that ring finger empty. I see you, it's it. When I see you, it's just us. Like, you know, that whole conversation, so. But she basically tells me that that is the person that he's been staying with this entire time. And I'm like, okay, how the fuck did you find him? Like where, like how even? She never explained to me how she did. This girl just had her ways. I genuinely do not know how she found him. To this day, I don't know and I can't get in connection with the man, nor would I want to. <laughs> Maybe she did some digging through his photos and his followers and somehow found him. I legitimately cannot answer it for you guys. And I know some of you are like, that just doesn't make sense. Like how? I don't know. She proceeds to tell me like, this is the man that Dunno has been staying with. This is the guy that's been paying for all his Ubers, paying for his meals, paying for his club. <laughs> I love the background but she's like yeah that's the reason why he hasn't been able to hang out with you because he's been staying with this guy and i'm like what do you mean this man has been paying for all his ubers all his stuff is he like you know he said he was an investor is he investing in him for something like what's going on like i just didn't want to put two and two together but she's like bitch that's his sugar daddy 
Like that is a sugar daddy. Did you pay for your meal when you guys went out? And I said, no, I didn't. She's like, and when did he get a job? See, I was wondering where the money came from. I'm telling you, we were throwing this salad in, this side, another round, another round of dumplings, another round. I was wondering like, ooh, how many rounds can I do before the card gets declined? <sighs> I don't know. I just wanted to believe everything he was saying. He never, now that I think about it, he never really told me what he was doing, but he just said like, I got my shit together, I'm up, I got my apartment. Got a Hellcat all of a sudden, I just literally like, I don't know why I fucking believe it. I should have assumed he was probably scamming or somebody else was funding it. Oh, she's telling me all this. I'm literally just like, like I said, I'm probably out of my mind. So I'm just confused. I feel betrayed. <laughs> I didn't feel betrayed. Like there's nothing to be embarrassed about. Like if that's the route that you want to go, that's the route you want to go. And like, you know, just share. <laughs> like, come on, you have a whole like career daddy who's like paying for everything. Like he put you up in this apartment. He's paying for your car, like, Share. I'm your girl, right? Share. I don't give a damn if I do YouTube. Let me hold some. Jada Wade still gets a bag and that bitch is rich on her own. Little baby don't gotta give her money, but he still does. Hello. I was like, girl, I'm gonna need you to come back in the morning because this is just, <laughs> this isn't just, this isn't processing right. Walk her down to her car. She ends up leaving and I go back up into my room and I'm just sitting there. Just very, very confused for the next couple of hours. At this point, I decided, you know what? Even though I'm fried out of my mind and I'm probably gonna, you know, get caught up, let me try to go around the question and somehow get some answers. So I'm asking him stuff like, where exactly are you staying again? What city was zip code? Who were you staying with? Um, what's the name of the person you're staying with? Like, just asking all these questions and he's like, why are you like asking me all this stuff all of a sudden and like, you didn't care? I'm like, oh, I don't know, I'm just asking, like I'm wondering and he wouldn't give me an answer. He kept going around and like, I'm just staying with one of my friends. I'm like, but who? And he's like, it doesn't matter. Who I'm so of course I hung up the phone. Like, why is this man lying to me? Like, why won't he just tell with. Like that's the reason our relationship ended in the first place because there was no trust because of what he did. So I'm like, why are you like giving me the ring around a rosy? I just end up cutting the convo for that day because girl, I had to wake up early. I had music that I wanted to, you know, I looked like Darcy <laughs> from Darcy and Stacy. If you know the show, you know the show. So I just cut the combo for that day because the next day I had things that I had to work on. Like I had music I wanted to make. I had to be in the right mindset. Like I had had people to see, things to do. I couldn't be flustered. I'm most likely going to put a hat on. So I'm not really concerned about the top of this right now. So finally, I get out of the studio. I'm like, you know what? Let me go ahead and answer this man's call. So I do. And immediately he's like yelling at me on the phone. Like, where are you? Like, why are you not picking up? All of a sudden you're acting sus like after last night our conversation like you just switched up on me or i'm not about to have this man yell at me on the phone because my ex thought he could yell at me on the phone from 2,000 miles away but you're not about to do it from 30 miles down the road <laughs> no so i'm like so who's done it no 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 i bring up the guy's name and immediately silence i'm like oh all of a sudden you don't have anything to say who is da -na 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 -na. this man hangs up the phone but my thing is like don't do it if you're embarrassed like own your shit. So I'm like, hey, I'm gonna come over to a hotel so we could talk or whatever. So I'm like, okay, sure. So I'm thinking they're gonna pull up by themselves. It's just gonna be us, you know, to discuss everything that's been going on. Cause like I said, a bitch has been feeling very lied to. So he pulls up and I'm thinking that he's gonna be by himself. But of course he brings his annoying ass friend. This friend, like his claim to flame, came to flame his claim to fame was going around la and telling people he had this song that was produced by this guy and this guy and keep in mind he was telling me that from the day that i met him like that was his thing the song never came out i was just talking 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 the whole time like hey like thank you so much for letting me sleep on your couch like a year and a half ago and i'm like yeah that was interesting. So I don't know if he brought his friend to try to like diffuse something or try to like distract me, but, but I kid you not, the whole time his friend is just blabbing, blabbing, blabbing about this opportunity and this, and we should go get drinks and we should pop bottles of rose. Of -na 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 -na. I'm like, where, what are you talking about? And I'm just looking at my boo, like, like, like what's going on? And I pull him to the side and I said, I'm sorry, but like you need to stay here and I need to talk to your homeboy. So I pull him away, we go to the pool area and we're talking and he basically is in denial about everything. All of a sudden him and his friend have a party they gotta go to and they leave. Why the fuck did I even answer his goddamn DM a year later? What the fuck is wrong with you, Vanessa? Like what is wrong with you? I can't remember which holiday it was, but I know it was during the summertime and he's like, oh, I'm gonna fly you out. Like we're gonna do a bunch of like, you know, like yachting and we're gonna be on boats and we're gonna you know, grill out and it's gonna be a good time. 
time. In my head, I'm like, you know what? It's an experience to go and network. I don't have many friends right now. Let me go and try to, you know, social butterfly or something, make some connections. He said it's going to be a bunch of influencers, models, investors, like, you know, inventors, entrepreneurs. So I'm thinking, okay, this might be something I want to go to, like, also for, you know, the connections. So I tell him, yeah, I'm down to do it. Like, that could be fun. I didn't really have anything going on at the time. So I told him, yes, let's do that. The whole texting and FaceTiming thing happened for maybe about a week and a half to two weeks and then boom ghost again he unfollowed me on everything so i'm like okay what's going on because i'm supposed to be flying out soon right so i go and check his instagram i don't see anything i go and check twitter i don't find nothing i go on his tiktok account and he posted a video with this really really pretty girl like i'm not gonna talk shit on her like she's a really beautiful girl um and it's her like in the car with him and he's like oh i love my girlfriend road tripping with my girlfriend i'm just sitting there like damn Play it again, bitch. How you let the same person play you that many times? I let him know that I saw everything I saw and that he's a piece of shit and never hit me up again and that's that. I mean, a couple months later, I did end up meeting Anthony, so I would have had no reason to end up, you know, talking to this person again. But I was just like, really? Again, bamboozled. So ladies and gentlemen, I guess like the lesson, like there's always a lesson at the end of my story times, right? So this lesson would be if people show you who they are the first and the second time, because I know that, ooh, ooh why is she all the way up there? <laughs> oh my God, I don't like the way it's making my head look very oblong. So like I said, I guess the lesson is if someone shows you who they are one time, and two times because if you're a forgiving bitch like me if they show you literally the second time who they are and you still look past it then I, I don't know what to tell you at that point you're just playing yourself yeah that's it for today's video if you enjoyed the story and my misery then subscribe i tell a lot of story times on tiktok at messy nessie 15 but i realized like why am i not filming them on my youtube channel anymore I'm gonna go and show my makeup off to my couch now. Subscribe. I'll see you guys in a couple days. Bye.